How's it going, everybody? Bob here, playing a horror game called Relive the Past. Well, if this isn't one of the coolest start screens I've ever seen, I guess we're dealing with a tree monster that has fetuses hanging off of it and a cult worshipping it. Cool. All right. I like this music, too. Very cool. Let's go. Jumping right into the tree horror. Foxy Studio presents... Who's this man? Is that me? Hello? Hello, bud. Hey, how's it going? Oh, why... Did it... I think it's double screened here or something. That's pretty weird. Oh, well. Keep going. Fine, just dealing with family issues and all that. True. I hear you there. Yeah. But you were happy before all this. Remember how excited you were when you proposed to Sia? Sia? That's a unique name. Uh, it was a strange feeling. Like rolling the dice, hoping she'd say yes. That is kind of depressing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure every every engagement's kind of like that. Ooh. Yeah, but she's been in love with you for a long time. It was bound to be a yes. I never understood the signals girls give when they're interested. Fair enough. But you're a happy family now, right? Sort of. Not always sunshine and rainbows. Ah, forget it. Tell me about your son. He's dead? <laughs> what? Well, that's a bleak start. Who did it? His mother- What the fuck? Well, this conversation got dark fast. What the hell? I thought you were in love. Not, nah, not. Nah. Sorry. Not in love. My wife killed my son. Reliving the past. Oh man, well okay. Let's see what's gonna happen here. What the fuck? It's the satanic chair. What the hell? <laughs> Literally, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Where am I? Well, it looks like you're at the... Is that a gate or a chair? You're at the chair of hell. Damn it, what's going on? I'm fucking in hell. Oh, Tree Man, he's already here! Man, these are nice graphics, actually. Very smooth, very smooth. What is this thing? No? I can't read the book. Alright, well... I seem to have awoken beside Tree Beast. What's up, bud? Hi? What, you don't want to talk? What's up? I like him, he's so cool looking. Did you make this model? Whoever made this monster, very cool, very unique. Very weird. A little bit creepy, but I like him. Cool, man. Alright, let's go. I'm in hell, I guess. Why am I not? Can I sprint? Not really. Okay. We got no jump, we got no sprint, and I got no flashlight. And I'm in a smoky, deadly hellscape with a tree monster. Where the fuck am I? Like, actually, what is this? What the fuck is this? Hello? I don't I'm know. just wandering through the depths of hell. Mushrooms? Can I take the mushrooms? No? What the, where am I? What is this? Locked door? In hell? Why is there a locked door in hell? That droning sound in here reminds me of Doom 64 for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it does. Why am I in hell? What have I done? Like, am I playing as the father, or am I the son who got murdered, and he's just in hell? Am I the chosen one? I'm taking this key. Please, take this key. I was gonna. Who are you? Take this key and relive your past. What are you talking about? Will you? Uh, you will understand. No, I, I don't think I will. But alright. Cool. Very cool. Um, right. Okay, well, Satanic Cult is letting me relive my past. Where's that door I just walked past? Door, where are you? I gotta open you. I got key now. Key. Alright. What the hell is this now? Why are there so many tree demons? 
What kind of hell is this? Oh my god! Is this how they harvest souls? They just attach them to them and that's how they get food? You got sustenance from dead babies, do you? This is pretty fucking trippy, dude. Well, there's a lot of these tree dudes over here. Are you gonna help me relive my past? What the? Hospital? Okay. We're going to a hospital. I guess this is where I died and or was murdered? Huh. Okay, let's go. So what exactly happened to this man? How did he end up in hell? 1991? 27th November. Alright, true. What is going on? What happened in this man's past that he has to relive it? 1991. Where am I? It looks pretty similar. Uh, doctor? Hi, sir! Why was that a jump scare? Hi, hi. She is fine. Who? Your wife, sir. She's fine. Oh! Giving birth to the son. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, my wife. She's fine. Yes. Talking about Sia? Must be talking about her. Well, yeah, this is the day your son was born. Are you okay, sir? What happened to her? She fell from the stairs, right? That's what you told me. Yes, she fell from the stairs. I remember everything. Not really everything. I recall her falling from the bed or something. I can't remember much else. Wait. So did you kill your son and you're just trying to blame your wife? I don't know. Pretty sad what happened to her. You have my condolences. Wait, is she dead? What? What is he talking about? Yes, it's very sad. Tomorrow is her court trial. She's admitted here, and she's pregnant. It must be very heavy for you. Wait a minute. So she hasn't given birth yet, but she's going to court? For what? Yes, it sounds pretty hectic. That court trial is going to happen, but why? Well, someone who's been waiting for you for a long time, saying he's your friend. Where is he? In front of you. What? Hello? What? <laughs> Satan? What the fuck? That's so cool. That... <laughs> what? You turned your head to just fucking the Baphomet sitting there giving you the fucking symbol, man. Holy shit. You know what? The court trial was incredibly tough for me. I know. It was a very emotional time for you. It was scary. But sitting here and reliving your past with me is a good sign. No, it's not. It was such a dark time when I found out she was suspected of harming her own child. Let me tell you a story about a family. Go on. In this family, there were three members. A dad, a mom, and their only child. When their son turned 18, they sent him to California for higher studies. While they stayed in India. True. They used to talk once a month. But then there was no communication for ten long years. That's a shitty son, what the hell? One day their son called them. Said he was married, with two children. And he was coming back to India. They were the happiest parents at that moment. When their child arrived at the airport, they went to receive him and his family. Okay, what happened? What happened? That sounds like a nice story. The parents got into a huge car accident with a taxi and died. That is so depressing! What? Fuck! Yeah, that's, that's what I'd say too. That sucks. The important thing is their child was in the taxi that got into the accident. Wait. Um, what? story is real. It teaches us that we never know who might hurt us. It could even be our own family. Either intentionally or unintentionally. Ah, huh, interesting. That kind of sucks. Killed his own mother and father by accident. In a car crash. While trying to visit them? Brutal. God damn it, I'm back in hell again. I never asked for this. Why am I down here again? I thought the Satan was helping me. Satan, where are you, bud? I saw you once. You were in the hospital with me? Why? Is this dude a Satanist? Like, what is going on here? It must be, right? This is why... What? What's up, bud? <laughs> Fuck! You scared the shit out of me! My lord, please understand. You are special. Uh-oh. See, is this guy, like, turning into a demon? Is he literally, like, a higher demon now for doing such evil shit? What are you talking about? It has been 6,000 years since this has happened. Everyone who's made their decision in their past has faced the consequences. Consequences? What kind of consequences? The consequences you are about to face. You have a golden chance to relive your past and change your decision. Hmm, I don't want to change it though. 
Or maybe I did. Gun? Uh oh. 1992? Wait, am I gonna kill my wife before she kills my son? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this gonna get super dark? All right. What the fuck is going on? I almost remember what happened that day. I got a call from a lawyer and he said something. Then I go down and talk to Sia. That's it. No, I'm gonna get a gun. Where is it? Where's that gun? Don't you give me a fucking... Don't you show me a gun and not let me pick one up. What does that book even say? That say? What the? Not quite sure. Where's my where's my piece? I need my pistol. What's with these bar lines across the screen, but only sometimes? Like it during the flashbacks. Hmm. Hey, I've been in this house before. It's the clap clap house. I know this house. I've been in here before. Okay. Let's see ya. Can I, can I go get a gun? Please? In here? Oh, it's slightly different. Can I open any doors? No? No? Okay, I guess I just gotta talk to her. Alright, what did you do, lady? You're pregos. You're pregnant. 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 Pregnanento. What's up? I see ya. Good morning. I just heard what you and the lawyer were talking about regarding the case. Um, so, what did you hear? They found me guilty, right? You know, I love you more than anything in this world. No one can surpass my love for you. Memories flood back. She drowned our one-year-old son, and today she was found guilty. But she's pregnant with another kid. Wait a minute, I don't like this. This is... <laughs> After we got married, I was the happiest person in the world. I felt like the luckiest person alive. After I got pregnant, you started taking care of me, giving me all your precious time. But when the baby was born, you gave it all that time to him. Why? You don't love me? Are you mentally ill or something? Don't tell me this is the reason you killed our son. Not only him. I've taken abortion pills for the baby I'm carrying now too. <laughs> what the fuck? You're going to kill this baby too? Yes. What are you going to do about it? Kill me? For fuck's sake! What are you talking about, Sia? Why would I- I- But why have you done this to me? Isn't there another solution? There is. In the garage. I'm gonna shoot you, lady. You're gonna get it. I'm gonna shoot you right in the chin. That's it. I'm sick of you. You wanna kill my babies? <laughs> do you really think this is the only solution? Yeah, Satan, I do, actually. What's up, bud? He's back. Ah, oh, shit. Cool. Here we go again. Alright, so Satan is influencing my movements, I suppose. Huh. Was this guy just super evil? I'm here again. Yes. Right now you are everywhere. Your mind is very powerful. What? Wait a minute. Who are you? I don't know you. I've got all my memories back, and you're not in any of them. Oh my god. You got all your memories back, right? Yeah, I think so. So tell me. Where are your parents? Um... Try. Try to recall. Um... Go on. I remember being at the airport, coming back, then I got into an accident. Wait, the story you told was it? You killed your own parents? Yes, you were right. The story in your mind was incomplete. And I've already told you the other side of it. No, I can't have killed my parents. Oh my. As I said before, we hurt our own blood, intentionally or unintentionally. Who the fuck are you? How do you know these things about me? I am that part of your brain that you refuse to accept. The part that remembers what you've done. What? You said I know everything. That's not true. I only know the things you're afraid to accept. From killing your parents to see ya. What the fuck is going on? What have I done? I have little time, but I need to explain. You made a decision with a gun, and that decision is going to be reverted by you. But I can't tell you which decision led you here. So I will give you two options, and you must choose one. Okay? What are my options here, bud? 
What? Shoot her and free her from the guilt of killing her son. Make her pay for what she's done. Or shoot yourself. Free yourself from the burden of marrying a psychopath. Your wife loves you, right? Make her feel guilty for the rest of her oh, life. Oh, hell no! That is so depressing! I hate this! You know what? I'm gonna shoot myself. Fuck it. This is... A, this is brutal. I don't know how... Like... I'm pretty sure you'd go insane if your own wife that you love killed your own child. Like, that That would make me go insane. I don't know... I don't know how you'd feel. I'm assuming you w wouldn't want to live anymore. Carefully choose one and remember... You've already chosen one of these options before, and ended up here. Careful. Pretty obvious, dude. I'm shooting myself. Goodbye, cruel world. I'm sick of you. Satan, I'm coming home. <laughs> what? Did he say it was the wrong decision? Satan? Who are you? How do I see you everywhere? I am you. But the right decision. What do you mean? Some things need no explanation. You have chose a wrong decision. You are such a coward. Fuck you, dude. Better to blow your own head off than kill somebody else. Fuck you, Satan. Goodbye, cool world. Alright. That's my choice. Now I'm back in hell. Um. Where am I? I'm back in hell. You are exactly where you deserve to be. In hell? Yep. True. This is where everybody goes when you kill yourself. Damn, that was a pretty brutal game. I don't get it though. If I would have chose to kill her too, then he still should be in hell, right? You go to hell either option. I got the coward ending. But what would the, the other ending would be just as bad. I swear to God. There's no way. There's no way, dude! Alright. Well, that was a fun little game. I definitely enjoyed that. That was so cool. A little bit of a dark, harsh story. But, very fun. Great music, sound effects, great graphics. I love the tree monster. And the Baphomet. Where the hell did you get that from? Literally just Satan there? <laughs> but yeah, very cool. Hey, I always leave the games in the description. Give it a download. Give it a play. Go give them some love. Amon always makes some great games. Foxy Studio. Well, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more. Hey, I read and reply to every single comment. So hey, shoot me one. Request a game. Say hey, say what's up. Anything you want to say. It really helps out with the forbidden YouTube algorithm. And of course, thanks for watching! As always, Bobby Wan here, and peace out. Move the master of the dark, white tea legend leaves his mama in the realm of horror, seek prevails, no fear, not the story of a fail, yeah! It is in control He must tremble as he takes his toll So if he jumps scare, he stands tall Move the fearless conqueror of them all yeah. Move the horror, stay away